welcome to the video of me going to the bin store um so this is me first walking into the store and as you can see there's all of these tables um and there are they are filled with just random stuff um you kind of just pick one and you start going through it and they are quite literally just filled and there's no organization to it whatsoever you can kind of see this guy next to me um acting kind of like a fool uh, i kind of keep the camera away from him because i was afraid that he was going to throw something and break my phone because he was acting like an idiot um so i kind of just move on and the bins are so full when you first walk in that it's quite hard to find something um if you're looking for something in particular there's lots of boxes and i don't realize that my my zoom is like zoomed in i'm not looking um for every i'm not looking at things through my camera i'm just i have it recording while i'm um while I'm looking through stuff um, and it is as you know like budget paintings they're not very big so it is kind of hard to spot them but here's one um, and I do pick it up and I put it in my bag quickly um, I end up not getting that one because right before we leave I realized that my bag was pretty full of paintings and I had to realize like okay I did not mean to spend this much and I kind of looked at it and I was like I, I don't want this one at all so I that one that I picked up just now I ended up putting it back um but yeah this is basically what you have to do you have to just <laughs> look through everything quite quickly because other people are right next to you and they are also like looking through things and possibly like just putting stuff right back on top of where you're looking um there's lots of stuff that is um repeats there's a lot of like you'll see a lot of toys there um at one point i do pick up where you can read the label you'll see I kind of pick it up so that you can see what the labels are like and they're very much very very similar to like an Amazon barcode um, that pack of floral stuff right there I picked that up eventually that's a pack of headbands and I wear headbands all the time so I do pick that up and I put it in my bag and I take it <laughs> because it ends up being um, it ends up being a five pack of headbands so a dollar a headband um and then also my wife she went with me and she started at one end of the building and i started at the other and finally i realized that my camera was on the zoom <laughs> um i started at one end so they had a lot of these shower heads all over the place, so many of them. Um, she started at one end of the building on one side and I started on the very opposite and we just kind of went the opposite ways. And I just told her, if you see any diamond paintings, um, pick them up for me because um, of course that's exactly what I went there for were diamond paintings. So, um, they have all kinds of random things here, slippers, bags, lots of food items, like not expired food items, like stuff that is still edible, um, gaming things. They do have clothing items. It's just kind of like you need to pay attention to the sizing um, and take it take a chance on it um my wife is somebody that very much will just take a chance on stuff like that <laughs> I'm more cautious about things but this 
bin right here that we're going through I'm just not having any luck and then finally one of the very last bins that I went through um, I found a whole bunch of diamond paintings um, however I wasn't recording of course um, and it was really close to the employees so I felt very awkward and I didn't want to get in trouble or kicked out of the store um, so I chose to just have my phone put away while I was at that bin where all those paintings were at. Um, but yeah, this is basically what you have to do. You have to look through all of this. But if it seems to be, I think it's kind of fun. Um, you do find some really weird stuff here at one point. Um, I'll show you. Um, some weird things that popped up during our search. <laughs> um, there's also some interesting people if you like to people watch. But there's lots of children's stuff there too. I think my nephews would have a blast coming here. They do have a lot of stuff for pets as well. Um, I did get like... Um, a new feeder for my cats here this weird toy thing <laughs> I don't know what that is <laughs> they had lots of like little fidget stuff um, lots of drinks there's some things that I'm like noticing while watching this rewatching this video that I didn't notice when I was there. Most of the diamond paintings were on the very bottom and I would have to move all of these boxes and it it started to become like incredibly <sighs> difficult um when you're on, when I only had like one hand to use because I had a bag with some stuff on my shoulder holding a phone as you could see I wouldn't spend too much time at one area Of course, if I see anything with like paw prints or animal related, it would catch my eye. <laughs> Here is a weird half face. I don't know what that was used for, but I shoved it to the side as fast as I could. And then later on, it scared my wife and she was like, I don't know what that's for. And All right, we are back from the bin store. Um, so I know like the, the video that you've seen, well, Maybe, I don't know, I haven't watched, as I'm filming this, I have not watched the video of, like, me taking the video while I was there. It's very chaotic, as you may have seen, because I'm playing, I'm planning on putting what you're watching right now after what you seen me in the bin store. <laughs> Anyways... This is what <laughs> this is what we came what I came home with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So none of them were like bundles. So I did pay five dollars US for each one, but that's not 
terrible, I don't think. Um, that's on par for a budget kit and there's no shipping involved or anything like that. Um, today, I know like um, you didn't see me pick up every single one because I did take the wife with me and she went, we went opposite directions and um, so I started in a back corner, she started in a front corner and I just told her if you see any diamond paintings just put it in your bag and give it to me. So some of these she picked up and you wouldn't have seen her seeing me get them. But anyways, um, a lot of the times when I did finally get a diamond painting or I found one, I wasn't recording at the time. I felt awkward sometimes, um, as you could imagine, like holding a phone while going through a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around so we can open these together and see what images. Some of them, I did go through them because I did notice, um, cause I was going to buy every single one that I found, but then I started counting them and it ended up being like, the dogs are going a little bit crazy right now. Um, and it would have been like $80 in budget paintings and I didn't want to spend that much in budget paintings today. Um, and then I realized I had a lot of duplicates and I was like, oh, I'm glad I kind of paid attention. So, um, I made sure I didn't buy any duplicates and, um, I'm pretty sure I went through all the bins and as far as I could tell, the people that were there, they were not there for what I was there for. <laughs> and I ended up finding some other things there that were pretty high value um, that I ended up putting in my bag as well. Um, and so did my wife. So that were worth like way more than $5. Um, but let's turn the camera around and let's see what images that we got today. Okay, so here is my pile of paintings. <laughs> um, so I have purchased, um, there's one in a box and I'm assuming it is this one. So let's start with the one in the box. And I had purchased one that was in a box like this before and I thought it was really interesting because it is Called these like short lint canvas where it's like very soft on the back side of it and I've never I've never seen them like that before um, it is completely sealed so let's open it and I apologize for any crinkly noises but this is a true like budget unboxing <laughs> from the bin store today so if this is your first video that you're watching um, I have been talking about there's a store um, in my area where it's a discount bin store where these people buy um, they buy, I believe, Amazon pallets, and then they, okay, put my tiny scissors to the side. Here's our little tool kit. I think it's really interesting that this kit comes with, um, paper clips. I've never seen that before. Um, and then the pink wax is shaped like a clover. I think that's so cute. But I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put all the tool kits to the side because I kind of separate, separate these out and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put those to the side. And then, so, 
Here's our canvas. Yep, it is what is on the box. This colorful eagle. And um, it's a very soft, it's almost like a felt on the back. They call it a soft lint canvas, but it's like a very soft like felt. Let's see if you can see that. Very soft. The canvas is very clear. Like this company is, it's very good. I've never heard of this magic diamond painting, but I may look them up. Here is the um, drill field. Very easy to see. The color numbers are kind of weird. The symbols are different, but you can easily tell like what is what on here. And I'm not gonna go through, oh, there's some ABs in here. That's really cool. Usually you don't get ABs with budget kits, so that's really impressive. Wonder if that's what these are down here in the bottom corner. Cause it says A1, A1089 and A46. But I can tell that there's ABs right here. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna go through the drills of these kits. This is just to look at the budget paintings, but for $5, I think this is not bad. Um, and then um, I'm gonna do a little bit of homework and see how much this canvas is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, how much this actually would have cost had I not picked it up at the bin store. that back in the bag. All right, the next one, let's do this one. This one is called DIY 5D Fashion Diamond Painting. <laughs> I don't know what the image is because I can't tell and it doesn't say on sorry if I was out of frame and it doesn't say on this um, barcode here here's our drills in our toolkit It looks like it is um, some flowers and maybe a butterfly here. The drill field is pretty clear. This is your typical 30 by 40 centimeter painting. But yeah, it's very clear, easy to read. Now it will be a fun little snack to work on. And here's our drills. And like I said, after I'm done filming, I'm gonna go back and see if I can find out how much these are selling for either on Amazon, which I'm sure these are available on Amazon, or if I can find what companies these are with. Oh, that's a tight fit. Oops, I ripped the plastic. I must not have rolled it up all the way. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one, I can tell it's a little bit bigger than our typical 
yeah, you can see that it already says 35 by 45 centimeters. It looks, the drill field already looks pretty clear. with instructions and it came with a tool kit and some tweezers in it Put that to the side wow the instructions are um, printed backwards <laughs> they're right side on this side though put those to the side Here's our drills. This is, it looks like it's a dandelion in a sunset. It's very pretty colors. I love the colors in it. Very clear, easy to read symbols. Can see those. But yeah, it's a little bit bigger than a normal one. It's 35. Let me bring out my I have a Let's see my ruler. This actually measures 40 centimeters by, just under 30 centimeters, even though it says 35 by 45. So like a typical budget, it's probably measuring the entire canvas, which it is 45 centimeters. by 35 centimeters but the actual canvas itself is 30 by 40. All right I really love the colors of that one. This one. Oh, it's gonna make me rip the UPC, and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna just cut it right here. <laughs> All right. Okay. our drills, our tool kit, it's our standard tool kit, and this, what is this? Oh, it's an elephant. A little difficult to tell, and the company is called Hello DPX, I think. You can see the symbols, but it's hard to tell what the image is supposed to be because I think the colors are just way too close together. Like there's no, there's no, you can't tell what this is. Like if I didn't look at the little thumbnail first, oops, I wouldn't have been able to tell what it was. <laughs> and I was looking at it this way. I feel like I'm reaching really far.
Again, if you don't like the crinkling, I apologize. There's, oh God, nothing really I can do about that. Standard tool kit. This one does come with the blue um, squishy though. So that's neat. Here's our drills. And this, I can see a pumpkin here. And another pumpkin here maybe. But I can't tell what the image is supposed to be be really other than the two pumpkins and I can't tell let's see if you guys can tell if it will focus I don't know what this is supposed to be But if I can find it online, I don't know. Is it supposed to be a person with a pumpkin head? And I think this is a moon. If I can find this online, I will put the image. <laughs> I'll insert it into the video. So that's that one. So we have a, a fall. Or a Another one that came with a squishy. Here's our drills. Oh. Okay. And this is a flower, a rose, like a rainbow rose. Okay, the background is kind of muddy and I don't know what to think about the background but I can tell that this is supposed to be a rose. One of those rainbow ro roses. It has 30 colors in it. Last two are inside out, so I have no idea at all what these could be. Keep it a complete mystery. All right, here is our tray. Ooh, a big plate of wax, pink pen. Here's our diamonds. They're very like muted colors. What could it be? Huh. Okay, so I can. We got a brand name here, Blexi, Black, Black, Eki, Black. Blex Eki. So there's a girl here, looks like some piano bars here. There's 34 colors. The girl is supposed to be holding a violin and there's a ship in the background and there's an ocean. I guess in camera view, you can see that. But me looking at it, I can't really see that. Oh, that's different. All right. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. But... I don't think it is. Wow, that's a lot of light. <laughs> Here's our toolkit. Oh, look, it's like a fall tree. That's cute. Very sticky. And this is a different, different brand, but that one is cute. I will enjoy working on this one. 
All right, y'all. So that is what I got at the bin store today. I am not going back to the bin store for probably a good month because I spent a lot of money today. Not just on diamond art, but like I found some other stuff that I had no business. Well, you know, I could use it. One thing was a blanket, another thing was like a hoodie and you know how it goes. You're just like, but it's five dollars and then you put it in the bag. So anyways, um, if you're new here, I'd love it if you said hello in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Um, what did you like about this video and do you, have you ever been to a bin store and if you haven't, would you want to go to a bin store and look for diamond paintings like this? Um, let's see, I would like to have you, if you watched until the end, leave a, um, <laughs> leave an emoji in the comments of a pumpkin because that was the weirdest painting I think I have here and I don't know what that painting is supposed to be so leave a pumpkin down in the comments below and until next time bye